I'm Mateo and we just got the first Pet Simulator 99 update in almost a month now. And with that, we got a dev blog and a whole lot of changes to go over. So sit back, relax, and let me show you everything you need to know about this Halloween update. All right, you guys, so starting off, we have the first major aspect of the Halloween event, which is the haunted back rooms. It's gonna be interesting to see how popular these haunted back rooms are because the original back rooms event was pretty popular back in the day. So it's gonna be interesting to see how how this is going to compete and another important thing to note is that you actually enter these back rooms at the end of the halloween world so you enter this portal to go to the halloween world and then you have to break through the five new areas to enter the portal at the very back so this might be the first world that we've got that's a world inside of an event world i don't know if i've heard of that personally but definitely interesting to see how this goes in game and then inside the haunted back rooms it sounds like it's almost exactly Exactly like how the back rooms were before which actually isn't a bad thing because like I said earlier this was a very popular event when people were playing it you're going to be able to explore rooms collect coins and then hatch eggs and each of those eggs that you hatch gives you a specific chance at getting a huge little melty up to the rare 100x chance egg so you could probably find this one inside of those locked rooms that are gonna be inside these back rooms and then I also wonder if there is like a boss fight like there was in the last back rooms that we had so as you could see it looks just like the last back rooms event we had just more halloween themed with the colors and the spider webs and the pumpkins and all that so as you can see there's a bunch of a new themed halloween type uh rooms for this new haunted back rooms theme in terms of regular stat pets it looks like the pumpkin scarecrow is going to be the newest best stat pet so that's very interesting so you can see that new best stat pet right here on the right there so right here in the dev blog it actually says that the huge little melty is found in the pumpkin gift so i'm not sure if it's actually found in the back rooms in the egg like it said in the earlier part of the dev blog or if this is true and it's inside the pumpkin gift but besides that we also got the huge skeleton cat which is going to be found in the candy corn gift so there's two types of gifts it looks like and then we can also earn that huge pumpkin scarecrow in the halloween world's final egg so here's that picture of the three huges that we can currently get now another new feature of this halloween event world is that we're going to have access to these halloween quests which we are able to complete for various free rewards including the vampire bat hoverboard as well as the haunted booth the example they give here in this picture actually gives you a whole bunch of candy as well so all right yeah so the next part of the dev blog was showing the halloween upgrades that you spend candy coins on some of these upgrades include a huge chance cheaper eggs more candy corn and then more candy so each one of these limited upgrades will cost a certain amount of candy that you can spend for upgrades during this halloween event and in order to get candy you can find these giant pumpkins around the halloween event world and destroy them and they will yield you a ton of candy and another way you can actually get candy is by destroying this halloween boss chest which is also going to be found in the final area of the halloween event world and this is going to drop tons of candy as well as loot so hopefully you listened to my video last week where i told you you should buy those nightmare orbs while you can because if it is actually difficult to destroy this halloween chest then there are going to be some people that want that enchant and the price should go up all right, so besides those candy coins that we were just looking at, you can also get a candy corn item, which is used in the candy corn machine to create the candy corn gifts, which allow you to get that huge skeleton cat, a new booth, as well as a new hoverboard very spooky and cool here let's continue going through though because this is a long dev blog all right so at this part in the dev blog we go deeper into the information about the back rooms so it seems like i was right earlier when i said you're gonna need a key and there's gonna have the locked back rooms and it looks like this is going to be the key in order to enter those rooms and another thing you'll be able to find are these pumpkin items that can be used inside of the pumpkin machine inside of the back rooms which will allow you to create these pumpkin gifts. So I guess there are two different types of gifts. And inside this pumpkin gift, you can get the huge little melty, the pumpkin cat booth, as well as the pumpkin cat hoverboard. So the candy corn machine is gonna be outside in the regular Halloween event world. And this pumpkin machine is gonna be inside the back rooms inside the Halloween event world. So you could tell Big Games is definitely trying to put layers of content into this update. And then the clan battle for the next two weeks is actually going to be to 
to basically gather the candy corn as well as pumpkins. So basically both of the items that create gifts are going to be what you're going to be grinding for. So definitely going to have a video out soon with how you can best grind for these candy corn and pumpkin items. Now moving on to probably the biggest news of this dev blog and this is the fact that we're getting a brand new exclusive enchant for the first time in months. Now this exclusive enchant is called the active huge overload which adds one rare active huge for you to hatch at any given moment. Now on top of this it also increases active huge hatch luck by 40 percent so this is actually a very very big deal we're gonna have to wait and get a confirmation from big games to see what this really means if you guys don't know in pet simulator 99 there are a big pool of active huges that you can hatch and at any given moment in the game there's a pool that rotates where you could only hatch three of those types of huges now some of the huges inside of that pool are much rarer than others sort of like the huge berserker and they actually have a smaller chance at showing up in that three huge pool so i'm not sure if this exclusive enchant is actually going to make one of those more rare active huges show up in your lineup and allow you to open up to four different types of active huges at once so really quickly if i check the big games api you guys can see that the diminishing power threshold is 40 and one of these enchants adds 40 which means that this enchant shouldn't stack so essentially you can't just add multiple active huges into your pool as well as get that 40 percent active huge luck so increasing the active huge hatch luck chance by 40 percent really isn't that significant because the huge hunter enchant already gives you a 25 percent buff but i guess if you are opening 24 7 for active huges this is a must need new enchant that you are going to want to pick up and then moving on we got a brand new exclusive egg called the horror exclusive egg which brings us the titanic ghost face cat here is the ghost face cat this is actually a pretty sick one i can't wait to open these eggs we also got a huge slasher sloth as well as a huge machete dog for the two huges so here are those i actually really like this sloth i definitely want to pick up one of these guys i like how it just has its like little claws sticking forward like that but and then they also basically transformed everything in pet simulator 99 into this halloween theme so that is actually pretty cool i like that from big games as you can see even the trading plaza has the halloween uh like orange type of theme and then one thing they actually noted at the end of this dev blog which i almost missed is the fact that they are having an update countdown for next week so it means they are going back to their schedule of having weekly updates at least for this next week we are also getting another pets go update next week so they are definitely going to work and try to satisfy people i definitely don't think big games can keep up with this but let's actually head in game and see all of these changes for ourselves all right so i got to the final area inside this halloween event world now one thing i noticed inside these halloween upgrades the upgrade machine just uses the coins that you have in the area so with 91 million coins i think i'm going to be able to buy a lot of these upgrades so we might as well just go ahead and buy a lot it's not getting that expensive so it looks like we were able to max out our huge chance right away as well as looks like everything else um all right so i definitely thought that these upgrades were going to get very expensive after the first one i guess if you are playing this update you might as well go ahead and upgrade these to the max before big games goes ahead and actually fixes the prices because all of these halloween upgrades enabled me to get a plus 60 percent huge chance plus 100% candy corn drops, plus 100% more Halloween candy, plus 100% more diamond loot in this world, and on top of that, a 100% boosted loot from the giant pumpkins. So not sure if that's just broken. And then we also have this candy corn machine, which we already have enough to make 12 candy corn gifts. So let's just go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and open all 12 of these candy corn gifts before we enter this back rooms. And it seems like we just got all the regular trash that you get from all the regular types of gift bags. So let's actually head into the back rooms, see what we can find. So right here at the spawn is going to be where that pumpkin machine is. And then if we open this egg, it gives us that small chance at getting 
the huge melty so this egg right here is going to give you a 1x chance at getting it and then you can find inside these back rooms up to a 100x chance and then if you are playing this update make sure you grab your free haunted back rooms key that you can get you only get one okay so this room seems to be some sort of like little maze you got to get through i don't know how to explain it i'm not sure if you would even be able to see it on the video but in game if you like look down you can see like the smoke that aligns the walls so not too hard to get through let's keep going oh my god we have like that water like wrecked ship room i haven't seen something like this in a back rooms event before well actually there was that one water room from the last back rooms event let's not go there actually let's just keep going this way so i found this room which seems to be some sort of puzzle where you need to click all of these letters in order to spell out scare so so far we just clicked s and c and then there's a over here so we'll click that r's over here in this corner and then e and hopefully that will open the door yeah it does okay so we get to move on for that uh there's no like reward or anything but it just allows you to keep moving forward at least there's a little meeting of ghosts inside this room here what did I, did I just die oh my god i did just die now we did find this little obstacle course obby type room which allowed us to actually open this 10x huge chance egg which is pretty good but we will keep moving forward because i know you can get that 100x room this egg is a 2x huge chance definitely not what we want all right you guys so after about 20 minutes i think of searching i finally found my first locked back room so we're just gonna open this see what we can get and then we'll pretty much end the video off there hopefully we get a 100x egg that i can continue opening while i edit this video but three two one let's just head in there and it's a diamond room so i'm not too sure what this room is supposed to be there's not even any diamonds that are actually spawning in this room yet it looks like this is supposed to be a diamond area where diamond breakable spawn but i haven't had a single thing spawn for the last few minutes while i've been waiting here maybe it's just glitched who knows but that is where i'm gonna end the video all right, so actually my pets just went ahead and broke some breakables. I didn't even see the breakables actually spawn, but I got about 100,000 gems from that. Not too bad, I guess, but definitely not something I would AFK. I'd rather AFK for these coins so that I can open up a 100x egg when I actually do find it. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about this update and whether you think it was a W or an L. Either way, I'll probably have a video out early tomorrow on how you can farm for those candy corns as well as the pumpkin drops thank you guys so much for watching hope to catch you in the next one and peace out